Welcome to this video on cryptocurrency for beginners. Over the last 10 years or more, cryptos have emerged as an entirely new class of digital money, a way to send across the globe in moments, often free of charge, without any intermediary taking their cut or commission. Cryptos for many mean financial inclusion, a way to bank the unbanked, offering a means of sending, receiving, investing, earning and borrowing in total privacy and anonymity. The journey began with Bitcoin, the first and still largest crypto in terms of market capitalization, but it has come a long way since then, with altcoins, meaning all other cryptos apart from Bitcoin, stablecoins which are pegged against other robust assets like the USD and gold to ensure stability, security tokens which can represent any security, and native tokens at the heart of blockchain projects and protocols. In fact, nowadays anything can be tokenized as represented by a crypto coin, from wine to art to mortgages. You can take a mortgage or loan without ever having to meet another human being or sign any paperwork. Unlike traditional money, otherwise known as fiat, the proposition of Bitcoin and other cryptos is that of decentralization, with no middleman like a central bank or intermediary running the show. Unlike with central banks, cryptos all have a limited supply and more cannot be printed. All crypto transactions are automatically verified and authenticated on the blockchain, which makes this, as both a form of money and technology, unimpeachable and tamper-proof by humans. The blockchain is made up of blocks of code, with more added when miners solve complicated riddles, in the case of Bitcoin although many new chains are being built on a brand new consensus model known as proof of stake, unlike that of Ethereum or Bitcoin's proof of work, which is much more energy guzzling. You can buy cryptocurrencies as an investment on digital exchanges, or you can trade them online with brokers like Arvatrade. You can stake your crypto holdings, which means locking them in, into projects in return for passive income in the form of yield. When trading cryptos, you do not need to worry about storing them in wallets and you can work with regulated brokers like Arvatrade instead of unregulated digital exchanges and peer-to-peer -peer platforms. Plus, you can use the resources of brokers, which include risk management tools and their leverage facility to amplify your trading power. When you trade cryptos like Litecoin and Ethereum, you are speculating on whether you believe the price will rise or fall. For instance, if you believe that Bitcoin's price will rise, you might want to buy and then sell it once the price has moved up. Conversely, if you believe the price will fall, you can sell at a higher level and then buy it back once the price falls. This is called shorting. You can open a trade within a minute by buying or selling. Wait till the price moves in your favor and then close the trade again when you are ready. You can start trading cryptos today with just $100 at Arvatrade. Try it now.